He's a part of the family. He's a part of this show. He did it with us for so many years. Uh, he will always be a miserable man uh, with us and to us. He, I mean, his career is without a doubt illustrious. He's he's worked with such radio greats as Howard Stern, a guy by the name of uh, Don Imus, and then back again to Howard Stern, <laughs> and uh, and then with us. So yes, there was a huge fall off there, but. <laughs> He was great. He's always been great to us. He taught us a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, the brilliant, the talented Mr. Al Rosenberg joining us. Oh, Oh, it's me. Never mind. Hello, Al. (laughs) How you doing, guys? We miss you, pal. How are you? Yeah, I wasn't happy seeing just me. It looks like a fucking balloon. So you look good. You look good. Oh my! Who said I look good? Don't you? You do. You look exactly the same as you did. And Al goes, how come you guys aren't going to introduce me to this lady with silver hair? Yeah. <laughs> First hard on he's had in eight years. <laughs> from Back to the Future, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I love it. Uh, yeah. Al, yeah. for years you worked with us through good, through bad, uh, always through ugly. And uh, <laughs> you were a radio veteran. Did How many times working on Miserable Men did you think, why am I doing this shit? Oh, never. I don't need never. Never. Really? I was doing something totally different than I did before, so it was great. So, no, I, I never, I never, it was very exciting going in. Yeah. And they made enough money to pay us for parking and, you know, the tolls. So right. that was, that was good. But it was just great hanging out with you guys, you know, and the guests were great. And I owe you guys a big, big thank you. You're welcome. No need to elaborate. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I tell you anyway, because you got, because of you guys, I got the, I got to hug Ice T's wife. It took ten minutes for all of her to walk into the studio. Al, you're an old school guy. What are your thoughts on Brent and his wife and uh, and his wife and their swinging lifestyle? Oh, yeah. uh, whatever you know, whatever works. Good luck. Don't forget, we'll be there for you when the whole thing falls apart. Another thing, when you talk to somebody like Al's age, you like in their mind, they have to be thinking, "I'm going to be dead like within a year or two. This sucks, and I'm going to have the best time of my life because they're going to be throwing dirt on me soon." And I know how that Al feels like that. So he's thinking to himself, I got maybe three years left if I'm good. So I got to go and do everything. Do you know you feel like that to be in that close to death, Al? I'll tell you, all I feel about that is your breath on my neck on the marathon of life. You ain't going to fall behind me. Because <laughs> <laughs> needy finds on the ground. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. you gotta, gotta you're going to make one mistake that's going to that's gonna be the end of you. The future's yeah. coming, but we may not all be in it. Remember no. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, looking back, everything was good. Looking yeah. back, everything's good. That's the shit cake. That was. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why we're going to hell, guys. Yeah, by the yeah. way, yeah. they they insert cat shit into a cake and then present it to him. Yeah. Where was my head at in life at that point where I go, it's going to be really funny. Yeah. We're going to put cat shit in this guy's food and it's going to be hilarious. Look at him. That's what he found out. Yeah. That's what he found out. Yeah. That's he he found out. I remember, Shuli had a huge grin on your face. You were very excited. Yeah. Ah. He's looking at us right now. He goes, that was cat shit. And then the, the last picture is him taking the headphones uh, off. Yeah. And then storming out. Al, I'm sorry. I was wrong for that. I wasn't wrong for forcing my penis on you later, but the cake thing with the shit, I I apologize. (laughs) Nobody ever does. No, 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 no. Trying to be funny, it's okay. As long as no one gets killed, Uh, ask the hospital for it. And and you try to be funny, it's good. You know, Al was Al was a big reason why we got to that four hour mark because Tim was comfortable with Al being he knew yeah. Al's radio record and and yeah. you know his his knowledge in radio and and we needed that at the time too riding you with Bob it was the best experience I've had in, in a long long time you never knew he always showed up not always but often with other people or another time remember we, I'm sorry to bring up this up there there's such great memories of Bob we were yeah. driving up just the two of us and we hit an ice patch and an overpass getting on a turnpike and the car slid completely sideways <laughs> or over this overpass sideways. <laughs> Neither one of us batted an eyelash. We just kept talking <laughs> at Howard's wedding. Sarah Silverstein <laughs> started yelling at me because I was talking during this.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Miserable Men Show with the OG Miserable Men cast here uh, joining us. I mean, if you're a fan of Miserable Men, then you know this man, the laugh that that, uh, <laughs> that tailed a thousand ships. Mark Burns, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yes, everyone's here for Mark. How you doing, yeah. buddy? I am well. Mark, How are we doing? Big Daddy Tony no, 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 for yeah, Mark money. because I got no money. <laughs> Miss you. I didn't miss this week. Uh, welcome back, Mark. Good to see you, Mike. You look like you're uh, in tribute for Al Rosenberg. Yeah, and the great thing is, when you die, I can use the same outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's getting soon. Hold on to it. <laughs> you gotta follow him to his next gig. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a cane. Most people who do that <laughs> usually have one. You know, amazing in that intro video, uh, Mike. Did you see Mike? He he looked like a uh, riffraff from Rocky Horror with that <laughs> yeah. hair. It that was terrible. that was COVID. That was COVID. Yeah, yeah it, was it was not COVID. a good look. Mike oh, remembers doing the sock puppet bit. <laughs> Pulling pushes out his ass. Oh. Uh, I think we should give a shout out to Bob because he was like. <laughs> And Jory oh, Kid. Uh, Bob, was, Bob was like Bob Sardamas. He's like, you know, Al, you're going to die in two or three years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that was uh, that was something we we always boss his balls about. Yeah, but you were you know? right, finally. <laughs> Sooner yeah. or later, you were going to be looking like an asshole. I, you can Sorry, only do I'm that right. bit for so long. <laughs> Sorry. He was such a sweet guy. <laughs> he kept saying he's going to die. Don't. <laughs> yeah, Daniel August becoming August. a YouTube member. Uh, well, welcome, welcome, and and ghost to the post, ghost to uh, becoming a member. Welcome, and uh, last live show we did, Stuttering John became a member. He was, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot was, about that. He was hiding in the chat watching us, and somebody gifted a bunch of memberships, and he got one. <laughs> <laughs> so his cover, his cover was blown. Uh, so oh, welcome, happy birthday. Yeah, everyone, welcome John. He'll be watching tonight as well as Hi, all. John. But now it's about a legend that we all got to work mm -hmm. with, uh, a man by the name of Al Rose Rosenberg. Oh. Oh. Uh, Al Rosenberg. <laughs> yeah, Al Rosenberg. Thank you. Uh, Al Al was many things to many people. Well, <laughs> Al was many things to many people. Uh, no, he he was a radio legend. By the time we hooked up with him, uh, I, I believe was with Imus then with Howard um, and was just this utility guy that fit in, could write, could do voices, fit in. He couldn't fit into anything. Well, maybe that's <laughs> not, a chair. not the best choice of words, but uh, <laughs> he could adapt, you know, yes. to both shows. Both shows were so different. He, he right away saw Howard's show was something special. He wanted to be a part of it. Um, you know, that didn't please I miss. I remember Howard telling those stories. So, by the time, oh yeah, thank you, Tiff. If you're new here to the channel and you'd like to be gifted a membership like Stuttering John mm -hmm. was, uh, go to your settings and turn on accept <laughs> gifted subscriptions. And that way it just may hit you when it's going around. And it goes around, mm -hmm. all right? It's like uh, an edible. It's going to hit you. So yeah. So at some point, Al joined up with us on the Miserable Men show on Sirius. And uh, we loved it right away because... We I'll had numbers. Reels gift in 10. Thank you, Reels. We had a really old person's perspective as opposed to an old person's perspective, which mm -hmm. we had from Bob. Right. Al gave it gave it a little yeah. more, you know, longevity. And uh, and I remember the drives in that uh, th those were usually the first 20, 30 minutes of the show was Bob and <laughs> bitching Tell about me the numbers. Mr. Poon gift in five. Thank you. Bob bitching about how Al wouldn't shut the fuck up the whole drive. <laughs> and and Al would get on the air and start yelling at Bob. And it was just this old couple traveling the country in a car that couldn't stand each other. Right. They would walk into the studio before the show started. They would just walk into the studio bickering about the, the drive up. That's so much fun. Oh, uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's the first words you'd hear. Uh, but Al, Al was a great sport about. Oh, yeah. So much stuff. He we, got it. He got that show right off the bat, and he just loved it. We, uh, we, my, Mighty Dingus. Mark's a bit distracted. You know what Mark's doing? Let me tell you. Let me in, let you in he's on a doing little bad. Secret. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Bad because of yeah. me, because of you and me, and you and me, and your stupid laugh. You're gonna see in a few minutes what Mark's working on. on his phone. <laughs> You're diming me out. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is we're gonna we're gonna pull the curtain back and show you <laughs> show you how the meat's made. But Mark gets these ideas in his head and he starts creating photoshops and sending it to the boys <laughs> in the back. And this is this is every miserable man episode. If you go back in the archives and just watch, it's just Mark with his head down, and then as soon as the pictures Tell me the come numbers. up. Boardroom Jimmy gift in five. Soon as soon as they come up, he loses his shit. He's so proud of himself. <laughs> this was a legendary moment. Al's birthday. Oh no, this isn't Al's birthday. This is no. the sh this is the licking of the schneck. Yeah, I think Bob <laughs> lost a bet, I believe, or some, for some reason. Wasn't Wasn't white win one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. I believe it was a Super Bowl bet. I think it was. I don't know, but um, <laughs> he had to lick Al's schneck. You want to explain to people what the schneck was? Cut, Bob. Well, it's that thing hanging from his uh, under his chin. It's it's like it's like a, a it's it's like a stomach and a neck. It's no a shoulder, the shoulder. Oh, the shoulder. It's okay, like a it's, stomach. Stomach. <laughs> it's the stomach. <laughs> no, Tell it was a shoulder. And thank you, John Spittle. No, it was a shoulder in the neck. Correct. It was so long ago. Well, you it, listen. If I had to lick another man, I would remember. It was a uh, different time. It was a different one. Or as Mike would say, I'd remember. <laughs> uh, somebody's on tonight. You wait. You wait till later, ladies and oh gentlemen. Oh, my God. Uh, Let me tell you something. Welcome to where the big boys play and live. Okay? Of course, uh, before Levy uh, even licked the Schneck, there were mm -hmm. tons of uh, jokes and songs, and this is probably the most famous song that Mike put together regarding Al Rosenberg's Schneck. Here we go. Al's got shoulders in his neck. It's a Schneck. Al's got shoulders in his neck. It's a Schneck driving in. He makes Bob a nervous wreck. Al's got shoulders in his neck. It's a Schneck. <laughs> this is my just picture every time I play one of the old songs, I just picture Mike hiding in his laundry room from his family <laughs> doing these songs, coming out to just just the evil dagger eyes. And the, yeah, this yeah. wasn't this this was before your wife drew you out, right? right. Correct. Correct. I still had a laundry room at that point. Right. <laughs> but it was probably safe to say it was the beginning of the end, you know? It was oh, it was it was past beginning. Yeah. We, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. This was so you guys help push that along very nicely. Thanks. I was gonna say safe to say this show was not helping in oh, any way. Oh, 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 oh. So this is this is Bob having to lick Al Schneck after he lost the bet. All right, oh, no, let's do it. No, 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 Ready? End to end. End to end. What do you mean end, end to end? end? What does that mean? Ear to ear. Take a headphone. Grande right. Levy uh, yeah. making <laughs> <his hand. laughs> It's like a ring. It's like a prison scene. I feel violated. <laughs> Al, Al's suiting up because Bob's gonna vomit. Like Bob, it, you we we all know how sensitive Bobby is. Look at him; he's already getting ready. We're gonna lobster fuck. I can't do it. I can't do two necks anymore. <laughs> That's all. That's all. We're done. Oh. We're done. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember you eating that much off of Al's neck. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at my picture. I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. You want to hear something crazy? He goes back for more after oh, that. Of course. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right. That's it for tonight, folks. It's been a great show. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You just throw up like six times. Yeah. <laughs> I love Paul. Paul got <laughs> <and> heavy. <laughs> when I woke up, I wanted a cheese sandwich. <laughs> he just threw up like six times. Who wants to see my dildo? <laughs> <laughs> he just threw that. What did he say? Six times. Oh, jeez. <sighs> You just throw up like six times. The ball busting never stopped. Oh. Never stopped on never. that show. Oh, my God. And Al was just such a great sport about it. 
the the song most of the time most of the time he was we'll get well, we, that i mean but here's the thing we would just keep pushing and pushing because oh. we were all huge huge dicks the and, minute and, you would tell us something yeah, we know. would exploit the shit out of mike remember when he started telling us that he he got a job handing out towels at the mm-hmm. gym <laughs> oh, yeah. and that was like for a month it was just nothing but towel gym al naked jokes you know <laughs> Al blowing dudes in the showers like it was just we had sketches and songs and uh and he made the mistake he said something got his goat we changed it to he had to say what tugs my towel remember we wanted we wanted exactly what a noise al how about how about mike mike wrote so many songs he ran out of like cute little you know, funny uh, titles for him. He ran out of family. <laughs> he ran out of family. <laughs> Here's a song. Here's a song. I don't remember if you uh, remember. Uh, this is like uh, behind the music. Do you remember where you were when you came up with the song Boring Old Jew? Yeah, the laundry room. <laughs> Let's listen to a little Boring Old Jew from Mike Morris. Uh, song inspired by the great Al Rosenberg. Mm-hmm. Every day at the gym, they stare at him behind his desk. The women all cry, look at that guy, he's got a snack. He's got a neck just like a turkey. <laughs> and on his lip, he's got some herpes. <laughs> <laughs> That boring old Jew, he talks to you, you're in a trance. <laughs> that gives him time to change the diapers in his pants. <laughs> you know he's gonna keep on talking. Given the nature of the business now, you have a career that's in the midst of his career. And because soon we're gonna, gonna, gonna be sleepwalking. Boy, you're lucky. And second, as far as Sal and Richard are concerned, I was in that business. There was more to this song, but I sang alone. Now I'm asleep. I watched him try to deal with numbers. Let me tell you something. You're in that business for six months. You can figure your commission in your head in 10 seconds on anything that you're working on. He said, uh, it, it, It's impossible. <laughs> he was successful. Uh, Oh my god. Baba Booey. You see what Mark's busy with? He's got his head down. Nonsense. Oh my god. Uh, so much of the, so much of the ball busting was about Al yeah. not uh not shutting up and always telling stories and uh, uh yeah i mean and he never it never like well i mean he stormed off once but that was really the cat shit and the cake more than anything less the ball bus thing uh you know but uh here's another one of my favorites I had how your day was at work <laughs> this is another one that uh, is all about al talking called al goes on and on <laughs> This is this, is <laughs> this one's great, uh, and you got to remember we would play these on the show and just be staring at him. <laughs> it. It'd be so it'd be so crazy, but he was such a pro. He was such a yeah. good sport. He laugh along with him, mm-hmm. compliment Mike on him. A little tear rolling down his cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Bob picks out up on the Jersey Turnpike. They'll be driving for an hour or so. Bob wishes Al would shut up, but he won't ever stop yapping and his stories go on and on. Al just keeps on talking. One more word and that old fox walking on and on. Stories go on. Given the nature of the business now, you're going to be <laughs> you're going to be fine. You're not going to be working for five months. Boy, you're lucky. And second, as far as you're selling, you're going to be 
if a show gives everybody a leg up in the business, but it can catch up with you. So I had the worst job of anybody in the world ever. I worked <laughs> famous for 10 years. That fucking Jew, that was my job title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he used to talk about what a shit Imus was. Oh, I thought that was the drive in with Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Could be both. <laughs> Get that down. That's not me. <laughs> Are you sure? That's Man, not. <laughs> Mark, I'm so I depressed. Would, I would never Mark, wear that many chains. Mark doing these photoshops made us realize that no matter what the picture is, mm -hmm. uh, Bob's face fits in perfectly with all you you name it. But well, that's Mike. <laughs> Mike Mike also is Nipsey Russell. That's a good look. <laughs> Do you have the other picture, the real guy? Remember this one? The real yeah. guy looked just like him, looked too. Looked just like, yeah. <coughs> I think we have I hope that cat time. takes your eye out, Mark. <laughs> I appreciate that. Very nice. Little kid. Um, yeah, I, I mean, just back to Al, you know, I'm thinking now, uh, playing back a lot of stuff. He was great as far as, like, keeping us in a, in a radio-type uh, setting and format. Mm -hmm. He helped us, you know taught us about resetting topics and, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, you know, sticking with something when Bob would go on the message board and go, they're not liking it. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> and it's like, it's seven people and four of them are on the same account. Let's not uh, change gears just yet. But, uh, but yeah, Al was instrumental with that. I mean, he was just a, a huge, huge, um, man help and a man <laughs> i reached out to lenny to see if he'd be available for today mm -hmm. mark i thought maybe your addition to the show might get lenny in the mix because he hasn't been on in a while and he replied with the most lenny <laughs> the most <laughs> lenny type <laughs> reply text ever all i asked was are you off today and he writes back <laughs> should be done at 30 minutes Back at place at 45 or so. Have one stop. And it just started raining. Yeah. So that's the last <laughs> I heard of him. <laughs> what a maroon. He's just, he's unbelievable. He's he's, he's not only antisocial, but he's got to be cryptic. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like some kind of Led Zeppelin lyric. Like, what did that yeah. even mean? <laughs> of course. Who can forget the classic, uh, who's going to drive Al home tonight? Oh, from yeah. my <laughs> yes, that's a great one. Drive out home tonight. You will want to hang yourself from the first stop light. Drive out home tonight, and you'll hear the same fucking story that you heard. Last Drive out home tonight. You'll want to toss his fat ass out onto the turf. Hey, drive Al home tonight, but please don't go and kiss him goodnight. Cause he's got the hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a whole nother thing. I forgot about the cold story. He we just started screaming that he's got herpes every, every show. <laughs> Billy Bald and his pants are too tight. No wonder he was having a hard time with the ladies. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was part of his problem. He, uh, Morris is banging so much he's using a body rubber. <laughs> Look at that! Uh, hey, Bob, did you buy two of those shirts? No, uh, shirts? but I washed it because <laughs> I'm getting this is I'm prom promoting my buddy tonight. Later on, uh, he's coming back Monday, so on the biggest show in the world coming up. Duck I Pesci, I have no money. <laughs> Mark Burns action. This is the song of nightmares. Thank they you, are. TJ. Spittle, slinging heat. Mm -hmm. Everybody's slinging heat here in this chat, man. Thanks, Bob Shuley and crew. Uh, 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 big fan. <clears throat> Block him. Lenny with his Kool-Aid hair. More of a cryptid. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Daniel Poon. Mike, uh, Mike. Mork. Mark. Mork. Mork. <laughs> Mork. <laughs> uh, I want to show you something because I know what a huge fan of Bob Levy you are. And uh, a gentleman by the name of Hackride is a huge Bob Levy fan oh. as well and has made some stuff that I think you might get a kick out of. Uh, Bob Levy critiques history. I don't know if you're familiar with this series, but you're uh, about to be. Uh, enjoy. Oh, 
Aw, did someone get their pretty birthday balloon popped? Well, that's too fucking bad, you Germans to gods. If you would have learned your lesson in New Jersey that day that you don't fuck with Americans, especially New Jerseyans, is that the phrase, or are we New Jerseyites? I can't keep track anymore. <laughs> anyway, fuck these crowds. Have you ever heard their women talk? It's like something out of Star Trek, all mumbles and grunting. <laughs> How do you get a boner in that country? <laughs> Truthfully, they, they made my voice up, Mark. <laughs> it's, a, it's AI Bob Levy. It's not uh, Bob. It's just some AI Levy. Bob, thing. you should be grateful. It's the first time the name Bob Levy's been associated with intelligence in the same sentence. <laughs> yeah. oh, thanks, what do you see the next one? Uh, oh, we got to play him, Lou Gehrig. That's yeah. right. That's probably everybody's favorite. Hold on, we'll get you. Lou Gehrig here, Mark. Yada dee, yada da. And we're here. Check this one out, buddy. Today, I consider myself. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I came for a goddamn baseball game, not the crying game. You pussy, you're not lucky. Lucky is someone who won't be dead in two months, like me. I'm lucky because I will live forever. Not like you who will be worm food, you dumb dead motherfucker. And that makes me better than you. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Pretty good this hack ride. Holy oh shit, my god! Funny. Oh wait, hold on, I got another one for you. With all James Simpson not guilty of a crime. Oh murder. wow, a and true Donald day Trump for Trump justice. Trump I'm sure this will have no long-lasting, deep societal impact. <laughs> Looks like we just solved all race issues in this country using this one case as an allegory of what beautiful togetherness is to come and what really lies deep beneath and grants us a true vision of the loving and caring creatures we truly are and can be not not <laughs> see what i did there that's called a reverse anyway chick that nandu must that's korean for i'll grab the m16 and meet you on the roof <laughs> <laughs> Bob saying allegory. <laughs> One of the funniest lines in the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Since we played that, we got one last one. Oh, one more. One more. You have a dream. You have a fucking dream. Let me tell you something. I had a dream. A dream where I am backstroking under the warm New Jersey sun. And guess what? It ain't happening. Dreams are devices the devil uses to raise expectations, only to be then, with no warning, dropped directly on your toes. I just in the goddamn pool, you shady contracting motherfucker. Sorry, Martin. History is not with us on this one. The dreamers. Bob Levy and Martin Luther King, ahead of our time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I know it's an Al tribute, but I had to. I had to get Mark involved. In that. Oh my God! Uh, three cheers yeah. for our pal Al. Plus the return of Mark's addictive laughter mm -hmm. is heartwarming. We missed you, buddy. Tip twenty five yeah. bucks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tracy. Miss seeing your face, Mark, almost as much as I miss Esos. Five bucks from Tracy. Oh, Thank you nice. guys Thank very you. much. Um. Let me get Ooh. back here to the L stuff. Yeah. We have, well, one of the nicknames. You guys remember the nicknames we gave Al besides Old Boring Jew? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fat Al was a good Fat one. Fat Al was a good one. The what Manatee. About... The Manatee. Oh, yes, Thank you. Yes. Two different Manatee songs here on deck for you. Mike Morris, very inspired by, uh, by Al's manatee mm -hmm. nickname. Check this out. This asshole's been fucking. Well, the asshole you're referring to is uh, another member of the Miserable Man Show, uh, Al Rosenberg. Yeah. That would be the great asshole. That's right. Yes. He shouldn't come out at all. His head is white and bald. Al's body looks like it belongs in an aquarium. He's getting fatter. 
And whenever he talks, it works like Valley Young. It reminds me of a great radio star. Uh, Don, that's exactly who. Oh, no, here he comes. Girls, watch your ass. He'll use his thumb. Oh, no, here he comes. How's a man a tea? Oh, no, here he comes. Just throw a fish. He'll do a trick. Oh, no, here he comes. How's a man a tea? <laughs> World's worst tribute show. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Didn't he, he, what was the thumb thing? He, he, he yes. liked, uh, it, that's what I'm trying to remember. The thumb stories. Anybody remember that? That he, he liked to put his thumb in the broad's butt. I it would say so. Yeah. He had yeah. to bring that up. How else is he going to get a ride back home? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the worst hitchhiker I've ever seen in my life. TJ the insomniac five bucks motherfuckers just made me laugh so hard I spat whiskey out ah uh, that'll be uh twenty two fifty thanks guys much respect <laughs> you got it um and then we had the the second manatee song and I'm sure there's more I, I don't have the entire archive but this is another great one yeah. also the artwork for this is really great I got to show that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw Al Rosenberg half naked swimming in the town pool. He was the size of an iceberg, just floating like a damn pool. He looks like he belongs in the sea with his big old snake flapping there in the breeze. Cause he's big and wide and looks like a manatee. Al Rosenberg. Cause he's big and white and looks like a manatee. I was <laughs> Do you remember when uh Bob when you gave Al a pep talk to get laid? To I go did. Yeah. Do you remember this? Bob this doesn't remember anything from really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is great. Check this out. Four girls. Al, right? You should be on one knee with a football helmet under your shoulder. <laughs> like, just please <laughs> giving you the fucking speech of a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> you you go out can, there. Canute Rockner. Nut, yeah. nut Rockney. Can yeah. Fuck one for the Gipper. Yeah. We might be behind these prison you walls. You have to go. <laughs> that doesn't mean we're dead. You grab the rope. You throw the hook on the house. You climb up the side to the window. All right. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> And you, this oh, is the second show in a row. We walk out. Of you break down the window. Try not to spill anything out of the way. And you fucking go in there and you say, "I am here." You'll be like, "Why are you here?" And you say, "I am here for pussy." <laughs> and I will not leave this house until I smell like a fish sandwich from the Imagine getting into a rental car and putting your serious on for the first time and hearing the <laughs> <laughs> hearing this Yankee legend screaming. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I will have my wife pregnant by August. <laughs> he's screaming about how he's not going to leave that house until he smells like what? What did he say? Like a fish like fillet sandwich. Fish fillet sandwich for McDonald's. <laughs> Back. I think Al was there after the first two minutes. Ah, oh, there. <laughs> come <laughs> on, that's not me. Jeez. That's the true yeah. master of pussy. That's your <laughs> wedding night. Uh, uh, Brooks Robinson, check it in here. Who needs uh, groceries or clothes for their children? Take my money, miss you, Mark. Hope all is uh, well, buddy. About Brooks. Thank you, Brooks. I'm disappointed Lenny didn't come for this, though. I thought for sure he'd be here. For Lenny, me. send him the link. I think he texted. Hold on. <laughs> Is that... Just got in. Send him the link. 
Just got in. Fuck. He has it. <laughs> there he is. There he is. That, that's not. Get the fuck out of here with that. I mean, that. I've never seen a more realistic photo. <laughs> oh, my God. Now that's Am hard. I the guy in the Titanic that said the ship is unsinkable? No, you're blowing that guy with the, with the dog suit on. That's Lenny's blowing doing. you with the dog suit on, and you're yeah. wearing a tuxedo. You're very yeah, what's so oh, hard? To, I forgot that. Yeah. What's so hard to figure out there? You're, oh, I, I forgot Lenny's, about that time. <laughs> Lenny's blowing you. <laughs> <laughs> you have no memory. You had that August one, Iso. Do you have this drop? I'm so depressed. You have that one? <laughs> that's, that's not that. I can't do two shows anymore. All right, you guys. <laughs> Iso, do you have this one? Uh, it was great. I got fucked in the ass and I left. <laughs> Did you? I never said that. You take your cock out, sir. I can't do uh, two shows okay. anymore. I thought you had this one. I never thought Reverend Bob was gay. But all that changed just the other day. It happened when I heard Bob Levy say, I had cock. <laughs> oh, I think we get the point of that. It's not it was insane. It was out insane. Insane. It was insane. Insane. Box of lotion. Uh, <laughs> hearing Paul Delangelo's voice reminded me of that. Remember this bit? And now, another edition of As the Voicemail Turns. <laughs> Listen to that Philly accent. <laughs> and and now, and now, and now. And now. Oh, my God. All right. So you have that, Bob. Do you have this, Bob? Uh, you have that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> you now. Do you have this one? No more fucking drinking. <laughs> You have that one? Come on. Yeah. Not only did you not uh, get it the first time, you will not get it after I tell you it was apocalyptic. Now, what was the word? Apoptolic. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's the longest you've ever taken to get a word out. Uh, distribution. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Colonisby. Colonisby, I don't have. I Put have in Levy or a man's ass for 15% off. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird sales code, I got to admit. It worked for the first month. <laughs> yeah, he's a funny drunk comic who usually will vomit after every stand-up show. Because his tongue is messy with the salad dressing, he poured into a girl's asshole. He's Bob Lee. <laughs> Red Bob Lee. <laughs> you better stand back David Lee Broth. The hell? Eddie Van Schneck and ate freely. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did we, we we did we do this recently when we just sat in a room? Uh, yeah, this is the last time uh that Al was on. Okay. Elvis Pudgley. Uh -huh. <laughs> that for sure. I like that one. Yeah. Oh. All right. So Isa, which one did you need me to send you? This one? A synonym. A synonym. Did you need that one? What's that one? <laughs> I don't know. He said he needed what one. What words can't leave you say, man? What words can't leave you say? The list grows every day, man. His tongue is made of clay. It's like he's in first grade, man. What words can't leave you say? You can't say North Korea, diarrhea, panacea, hedonism, galleria, pizzeria, Tanzania, plagiarism, Minnesota, a pagoda, diet soda, vermicelli, enchilada, French Guiana, mochiata, lampanelli, Dubai, river quiet, tea fly, rotisserie, fried shrimp, raw shrimp, any shrimp, parsippany. What words can't leave you say, man? What words can't leave you say? The list grows every day, man. His brain's in disarray. It made his hair turn gray, man. What words can't leave you say? Oh, I think I've, I've done another Al song. Hmm. He once was Mr. Rosenberg when his career was going well. <laughs> but now he's sinking solo. He's even doing our show, so we call him Al. Call him Al. Hey, Al, get us some coffee while you're up. <laughs> And then I found this. You fucking go, and you're going to suck some dick tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> what? I don't know. Take your cock out, sir. I don't know. There was this. There was this one I just found. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The Al Photoshop didn't change Fester one bit. 
No. <laughs> That's funny. Do you remember this, Bob? My balls with clown makeup on. Do you remember that? What? No. <laughs> Why do I have that? You got the problem, not me. They're going to die. <laughs> oh, no. I think that was after we banged Yucko. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We asked him, how was it? My balls with clown makeup on. You're right. <laughs> exactly what happened. Um, I think, did Lenny, did you guys send Lenny the link? Uh, Lenny. He yes, he has the link. <laughs> Why do you fuck give a fuck about him? Uh, I just thought, you know, because Mark's here, and I, I know yeah, he loves a little reunion. How you doing, Mark? Are you doing here. okay? Yeah, Lenny, what's going on with you? Week. I just spent Lenny. last week. We woke up and one of my girlfriend's cats. We have three of them. Oh, how many girlfriends? How many girlfriends? One you girlfriend, have? three cats. <laughs> okay. Lots of pussy in the house. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> you did. Uh, um, I guess you count yourself. Yeah. One of <laughs> one of the cats was blocked with a stone in his urethra, Ooh. and it cost me nine thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah, man. Jesus fucking you know, Christ. New cats, fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. A fair point. It was one I was afraid to make, but I did think. Yeah. D diving in there yourself is free, FYI. And I have fifty bucks. Seeing yeah. what you can do. Wow, nine grand. How's They'd the cat? Open up to clear the blockage, and then open them up to remove the other stones. Yeah. yeah. Jesus I just fucking Christ. I know. I just let. I just. I just leave it on the side of the road. Let nature figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I go. This Why didn't is... you just hit it on the back? <laughs> well, it's not, not, not like this, this demented vortex. And on the way home, I kept on saying. Do you want surgery on this cat? Nine! Nine! <laughs> <laughs> and she was not laughing. And I was having some kind of bankruptcy breakdown. Um, it was funny to me. <laughs> uh, guys, we're going to be right back with the show. We're just taking a quick musical break. We'll be right back. Boring Al Rosenberg is so fucking old. We ought to be cremated. He sits around all day collecting mold. He ought to be cremated. <laughs> so wrap him in a towel and let his fat ass burn. Then gather up the ashes and stick them in an urn. Sorry about this owl, but it's time you fucking learn. You're old, 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 old. Ow, 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 ow. He ought to be cremated. Ow, 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 ow. Raven. There is a picture in the in, in this sort of of every all of us together. If you can find that, and Raven's in that. Yeah, you remember when uh, uh, you guys said to me, "She's telling people that she runs this show," and I go, "You want me to fire?" And I fired her on the air. Right, right. <laughs> he did he did? Which we had no power to do, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> we got the ball rolling, and then they made the switch. Right after that, after that, Ragu took over. Yeah, but Al, Al loved her. <clears throat> yeah. Way into yeah. Her. Remember yeah. when Ragu kept on um playing the Kanye West clip by the end of Al's tenure? Oh and every my time I went into a story that lasted more than like six seconds, he would just have Kanye break <laughs> in. Right. Yes. And, and say, Al would say the best video of all time. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. And Al was not a fan he, of that. He was not happy. Yeah. No. Al Rosenberg. <laughs> uh, then there was, you remember, uh, this was another bit that, that pissed them I off. Wish you'd, I wish you'd taken that picture three seconds later when we were tonguing each other. Yeah. Uh, I mean, me and Mark. It was a, this was another uh, bit that upset him is uh, us goofing on him at Howard's wedding. I think it was Howard's wedding, right? Or he wouldn't shut up. Yes. Howard mentioned oh, yeah. that he was yes. talking. Sarah talk. Silverman uh, was mad at him because he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then Mike, Mike put this together. This exclusive behind the scenes audio of Al at Howard Beth's wedding. And, and this one pissed off Al, too. Mm. Selling memberships at the Gold's Gym from six to nine in East Windsor. <laughs> Funny, Mike pisses him off and he attacks me. What? A peek into what truly calls his life. He calls him. It's not funny. You're not a funny man. He's an announcer, damn it. What did Mike tell us that she likes to do? <laughs> like that's not redundant. You're gonna buy him a cut. Uh, but when will they both realize that you've hung up? Wow, that's hot. What's so bad about that? America's entrepreneurs. The trust fund. America's on let's let's establish this again. We're miserable men. We don't watch fucking reality shows. We don't watch we don't watch Lost. We watch baseball games, football. Hey, Alan, I, I, let me tell you something. The college this kid's gonna go to, that's five hundred bucks of coverage. 
Get a lie. The college just kids going to 500 bucks will cover it. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have known who he's talking about. Wow. There it is. There Let's it is. Picture. So that's Raven next to Al. Al next to her. And then there's <laughs> zoinked out Bob Levy. <laughs> There's the tannest, best-looking Mike mm -hmm. Morris you've ever seen. Mark Burns looking like uh, a Coke dealer. And fast yeah, like should be in Pinky on. Blinders there. I, had, I, I yeah. had tickets to see Cheap Trick. Yeah. <laughs> then you got Rag Ragu in the white shirt there. Yeah. You got Paul Delangelo in the, middle, in the middle. And then myself mm -hmm. sitting there. And, uh, I forgot about those miserable men's t-shirts. Those were great. Yes. I love those. Yeah. Those were fun. Yeah. That studio. Yeah. That was just a glass uh studio so anybody walking down that hallway could just look in and see <laughs> you remember the time you remember when the dude from the bunny ranch dennis hoff was up at sirius and and he came into the studio to do the i forget how like if we approached him or whatever but he ended up coming in the studio and he and he had one of his whores with him he had like two of them but we were interviewing one of his chicks and he, just in the course of interviewing her, he just spreads her legs open. And he just, you remember, he just starts finger blasting right. this chick. I don't, I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. He just. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was from there. He started, like, I mean, like, like she stole something from him. Like, he right. was, it, yeah. there was nothing loving. Turning butter. Him. He was turning butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was. Wow. And we're just in this glass aquarium. And people are, white women are walking by. And we're just like, hey, how's it going? Hi. You know, he's just like, come on, come on. We'd be like, vomiting in there. People would walk, you know, anything was going on there. It was just crazy. <laughs> we did uh, gay push ups in there. Remember that? That was uh, great. Yeah. Yeah. People were walking Game by twice. with that, and the rest of us are filming it. And yeah. there's two men lying on top of each other on the ground. Yeah, it looked like the worst gay porn movie you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we had the uh, fourth time of watching it. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, we had the, the DJs from OutQ. The gay mm -hmm. and lesbian channel. What's up, buddy? The gay and lesbian channel. And the dude came in. I forgot his name, but he, he laid on his back and we did push ups over him until we couldn't do any more and then just fell into his arms and f fell on top it, of into him. Into his cock. Into his cock. Into his. It was yeah. a 69 push up. Well, we fell into his chest. You, for some reason, fell into his cock. I don't well, know. I had to up the game a little bit. I had cock again, again. <laughs> That's not. You know, I'll show you how to win this match. <laughs> uh right is right 499 mm -hmm. come back full time mark r.i.p yeah. al rosenberg al rosenberg <laughs> we'll go around your schedule and you guys yeah, are so you... ruthless when i when i texted you guys to let you know al was in hospice yeah one of you said that we should have al in to say goodbye and then have ragu kanye him and cut him off in the middle of yeah. the final word <laughs> yeah yeah no you exactly. said that you asshole mike it has to be mike you know <laughs> no names no names no name, no name. Mike, that dark let's flag. just say the person who said it looked like what, is, this? <laughs> what is going on <laughs> mike is the riddler i like that one. i like that like elise is in it elise Bob looks like, like you said a fire can we go back to that picture <laughs> yeah sure stop it that's not me <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i might dye it blonde <laughs> blown loads that's not me it's not it's always you especially oh. when you scream it's not you one of, one of my favorite memories from back then is when when ice tea came in with coco and during the breaks bob kept saying you know ice we should really do a show together we should do a tour. <laughs> <laughs> we, you remember how we got them to come on the show bob and i went down for a smoke break yeah. and they and they were coming they were they were getting in the oh. elevator at the same time we were coming back up from the smoke break and we, the elevator pitch, we were just like, yeah. we had 30 uh, basically four. Two guys just dropped to their knees in front of Ice T. Oh, yeah. yeah, we love your style. I didn't even know what yeah. the fuck I was talking about. I'm like, yeah, they're fucking <laughs> unbelievable. And and he was like, yeah, man, I got to do uh, Shade 45, but we'll swing by. And we're like, yeah. we're never, we're never going to see him again. And sure enough, we see him walking down the hallway and we're just like, hey. Ooh, and he ooh. comes around with Coco and they mm -hmm. did what? Another hour with us? Yeah, they, they were great. Good. They were wonderful. I got Huge. his phone number still. Well, and there was yeah. and there was a bit more to it, if you recall. When they when you would get up to outside of Sirius, when you would get up to outside the studios, you needed a card to get in, hmm. or you needed someone right. from the show to come out and let you in. Right. And Shade 45 had no one prepared to let Ice and Coco up. So we so let we got we them in the building, them out. but yeah. yeah, then they're then they're like stranded outside the door. There's no one to call. There's no intercom. You're just banging on a door. 
Yep. So mm-hmm. we actually got them in and showed them where Shade 45 was. Like no one came out to greet them. Yeah, that was your Mark's right. The other thing on Sundays over there was we were the only ones there. That was it. It was like yeah. us and, and the sports dudes who had right. to, you know, load up the NFL game. <laughs> there it is. And uh, and that was it. So he's right. If you were booked on a show uh, and you get up there, if you got up there, mm-hmm. now you're stuck in between. Mm-hmm lobbies you have the production area behind you you have the actual lobby in front of you but you have nobody to let you into either of them uh, if you don't have a pass so yeah we we got them in we made it so that they could do their interview but they stuck to their word came and did the interview right after and they were phenomenal man i pulled up ice tea zipper and i said that way (laughs) i'll see you later (laughs) t you you completely recall it got us in hot water because they came back a second time Yes. Or something different. I think it was to promote her calendar, maybe, or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they didn't do Shade 45. That's they right. They only came in and did our oh, show. Wow. Yes. And, and Shade they were 45 went to Tim and said we were poaching guests or whatever it was. Right. Which we were, but fuck it. What are you going to yeah. do? I don't give a shit. Uh, you wow. know, they clearly liked us. They came back a second time. Right. So mm-hmm. I said, Mr. Sec- T, I'm low T. <laughs> we <laughs> low just thought a band. <laughs> And he gave me, I remember we became friends on Xbox, me and Ice-T. And uh, yeah, I, that was a big deal for me. That was like, Bob's he never talked to me again. Ice tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it was crazy times up there. Uh, who was Al Rosenberg? A legend, Sherbet. Yeah. A legend. A legend. Radio icon. Mm. And, and our friend. Yep. Sweet. How man. did Al end up on the show? I believe Tim Sabian was the one who who yeah. sent him our way, right, Bob? I remember he said, I, we started about Tim, and we just started talking about, uh, we, I seen Tim, and then he was telling me about Al, I remember, and and we were just bullshitting about, like, he wouldn't be, you think he'd come on the show? And I yeah. think he just came on once, and then we would just fell in, you fall in love with Al, like the yeah. kindest, funniest kind of good guy to have around, mm-hmm. you know, a lot better than you fucking assholes. And I remember him telling Tim numerous times that, you know, this show's got potential. You got to you got to let these guys work. You got to he was big in helping us get on, um, you know, different time slots, filling in for different shows. Pharrell, that that Friday, Black Friday, we used to do that oh, day. Right. Yeah. Did we, we stay- ever fill in for Bubba? I don't remember. <laughs> Not for Bub, I don't think. We did I don't think Pharrell. so. We did. It was uh, somebody else. Chuck Zito, did we fill in for uh... Chuck Zito? We filled in for. Yeah. I think. Uh, I mean, we were up there. So we we would take. We were the only show that went from one hour to four hours. So mm-hmm. we were, you know, we we but we would fuck with so many other shows up there. The round table. Right. They left. Uh, Mutt left his computer open once. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So we had access to the the leader and founder of Stern Fan Networks uh, account. Oh, and, and Mark would always design. Mark would always leave his, his computer oh, open yeah. too. Right? Oh yes, and we used to post the all gay stuff about yeah, Mark. They, they still but show up in my Facebook on. memories. It's like I love Menace, and I'm hey, looking right. for a big tasty cock to nosh. What the <laughs> fuck is this? But somebody went on SFN like as Mutt, 8 p.m. At yeah. SFN as Mutt, and said. It's been a good run. Sorry, I'm closing down the Stern Fan Network. And people yeah. fucking lost it. <laughs> I remember that because Pharrell was on after us. And we we came up with that after the show in the studio, all of us together. And we just said, put up a post that Mutt sold Stern Fan Network and that it's closing tomorrow at noon. <laughs> and I remember the first 10 minutes of Pharrell's show, his phone lines were jammed up with people from SFN. See what's wrong? What's going on? The site's going down. Everybody, Defcom One, they were fucking going nuts. Oh, over there. Wow. Uh, so, where what stuttering Dutch boy? Hold on. Why didn't the dues pay a read my Dues-pay. super? <laughs> Tonight's I don't know. Gonna be the greatest night ever, ever. They're looking for it, uh, buddy. So if we find it, I'll read it. I think I just peed a little. There you go. Yeah. And I'm glad we read it because I'm glad you're peeing a little. Yeah, that's yeah. good. You should be. Pass that stone. Um, I'm not a hater. I'm watching, but I just don't think Shuli is funny. I don't have an agenda. You guys well, make a lot of sense. You Mike, know what? Stop writing that. <laughs> There's a lot of people that would agree with you, and you're entitled to your opinion, sir. Uh, just love count you the people too. in these squares. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Mason in Portland, you're right. We need Lenny to brighten the mood. <laughs> oh, Mark, you've you've missed it <clears throat> in the uh, time since you've been gone. He has turned into a complete a sour little fucking really. Yeah, he's not he was so he's sunny not and optimistic. No, no, you. Yeah. I mean, compare. You think that? Compared to what? But where? Well, first of all, he's in a new place where he can't talk above a whisper. And his roommate died the first night he got there in the other room <laughs> next to him. <laughs> Right now, Al Rosenberg is better company than Lenny. Oh, that's yeah. not true. At yeah. this moment, Lenny. So Lenny, Lenny's actually gotten worse and more depressed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He, he, yeah. He, Lenny. He, he, ask him about the place house, he's basically. playing. Yeah. There, there used to be in. little slivers, little slivers of happiness. Right. Now mm-hmm. it's just all. Ju- I see. He's, there he is. Hold on, no. ladies and gentlemen. Lenny, please welcome to the show. The reunion is complete. PC Mike, tomorrow. Bob, myself, Mark Burns, and now Lenny, Lenny from Long Island. Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> Hello. What the fuck? Did you, what's on your head, dude? What? <laughs> These are new. Those are Lenny, nice. Can you move the camera this way so we can see you what a little lower? Ah, oh, I like that shirt. Lenny. That is something. Let, hey. What? Lenny. Yeah. Can yeah. you hear us? Is there a candle store <laughs> yeah. without an awning now? Yeah, no, I can hear you. Hey, oh, I got to okay. Lenny? You got to talk up, Lenny. Talk up. We can't one, hear you. Yeah, we can't. Le- okay, Lenny. you ready? Hi, Lenny. Yes, Lenny. Lenny. Hello. Lenny. Yes. Talk <laughs> up. We can't hear you louder. I, I, I don't know how much louder you want Riley! me to talk. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Riley, can you hear me? <laughs> can I ask yeah. you a question there? Go ahead, Bob. It? Lenny? What? No, we want to ask Lenny. you, how you been, first of all? Good to see you. Long time no see. How are you? Busy. Very busy. Yeah, That's no, uh, it's been, well, I'm sorry. It's been it's been crazy at work, so. Sure. Have sure. you been carrying dead people out of your apartment building all week? <laughs> no, I haven't had to do that. So you any, killed them? They can fall by themselves. Lenny? Any sauces you made? Is that why you're guilty? Or gu- busy? I'm not guilty of anything. No. You might as well face that it. Sounds guilty. Dick- it's hard. It's hard to yeah. sound innocent when you're saying I'm not guilty of anything. <laughs> yeah. If you have to make that statement, you're guilty of something. I agree with Mark. No, I'm not. So hey, t- so Lenny, first yeah. uh, tell Mark. Oh God why Almighty! You- what? No, just, well, yeah. Mark hasn't Lenny. been around, so we want to ha- have him catch up. Tell Mark why you have to whisper. <laughs> oh yeah, explain that. Oh yeah, no, I don't want to make a lot of noise. I don't want anybody else to know what the hell's going on. There's five other people in this fucking place. Lenny, I can't hear you. What? There's five other people in this place. I don't want anybody else to know what I'm doing. It, I mean, really? Tell business. me if there's traffic on the 95. Like, right? Doesn't it sound like he's doing shadow traffic? I like Lenny. What? <laughs> Lenny. What? Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over the 101 over here, Lenny. we got a possible sig alert. Uh, we got a seven car back up over here. I don't know what it over. Neil Armstrong, what kind of what is this? Uh, so, so you've been super busy, things have been crazy at work. What's crazy at work? What's changed? What's happening? Go for uh, it. Everybody's out of school. Everybody's out of school. Uh, what else is going on? Over. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the reason we're so busy. Is everybody's out of school and we're still short staffed. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> the fuck is going we're on? Still short staffed. Yeah. What? How come they can't get anybody to take a job over there? And oh, I, I, it's, I, I don't know whether it's you gotta say over. Can't. You gotta say over. Oh, <laughs> over. Sorry. You too. Yeah, you gotta say over. Yeah, I say do over. not. No, you have I, to. I, you yeah, have go ahead. I don't know whether it is. That they can't keep people or they can't hire the people. Even the people that they've hired, they hired some guy. What happened? Can they, you hire? They, they hired what? a guy hire? recently to work over in the the events, the party section. Okay. And two weeks after he's there, it turns out he lied on his application. Oh no. None of a bitch. He, he wanted, no. Nope. But they didn't even check the application. <laughs> he, he, he claimed he worked in kitchens for 20 years. What? The guy didn't know his ass. The guy didn't know his ass from his fucking elbow. And Over. I'm like, uh, you got to be kidding me. What? And he's still working there. They said they would try and teach him. And if it doesn't work out, they're going to let him go. I'm like, this is the most ridiculous place I've ever worked in. Yeah, Over. that sounds insane. Are Over. you still the sauce girl or did they move you up? 
Got to say over. Huh? Does, I work does Houston both the line still have a problem? In the back. What? Who cares about Houston? Fucking to Danny, like. did you hear Bob? Over. <laughs> I okay. could hear you I, all. I, I, yeah, I, you fine. spilled I, I the sauce, all. girl. Did well, they move you up to another look? position? I, I work over. both the line and in the back. I work all over the kitchen. You work it from the back? Over? Mm-hmm. That's not what I said. For over. Any- over. Why are you what? Put the mic closer to your mouth so we can hear you. Perfect. Lenny is great. I told you guys that. <laughs> why, is oh, yeah, yeah. Why, is why is he whispering? Perfect. I'm not whispering. I'm talking in a normal tone of voice. You people are fucking yelling. Normal tone. Hey, can you put that back right in your mouth and start a bat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, any more. That's what the pussy looks like. Yeah, sure. Look, it looks like a little tampon hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> how, how happy yeah, that thing you? in his mouth doesn't hurt. How, how happy are you to see Mark back? It's very nice to see Mark. It would be it's better if he was not there. I said, it's what? very nice to see Mark, and he's being respectful and quiet. That's nice. Eric has a question for you in chat. He wants to know how are the roommates? I, I, don't, I don't want to discuss yeah. the filthy, disgusting, slimy oh, people. The, no. the, 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 la- the, the landlord actually came by and painted the walls in the bathroom that I told him had mold growing on him. So uh, an improvement was made. Yeah, you now, cover mold, it doesn't improve it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have to look at it. Even Bob knows oh that. Oh, my God. Right. Come on. Listen How's to yourself. How's your pool, by the way? How oh, is your oh, pool? Oh, How's the pool? Right now. I oh, swear it's to July God, already. How is the pool? It. It's fine. How is the pool? Now I want to see the pool. I want to see the pool. You want to see the pool? I want to see the pool. I want to see the pool. Come, calm down. I'll drown you. I want to see the pool. Is it like a Mr. Turtle pool? Like it, is it? Is it? It's done a here? pool, Mark. Is it Yo, a up. You've been gone a long time. I don't know if you Mark, heard, but I'm getting a pool. Mark, you're you still were getting us. a pool. Yeah, you, Mark, you were with wow. us. Wow, you were with us when Bob announced he was getting a pool, right? Yes, he, yes, I was. Okay. This was this was sometime in um late 2022. Yeah, I was going to say a year ago. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's still not <laughs> finished. The pool. It's basically finished. <laughs> Is there water in it? <laughs> There's some water in it. Yeah, not from rain. rain. It has to yeah. go one level, then to the next level, and that's it. Just stop it with this stuff. Levels. <laughs> There's levels. You're such a miss fucking miss troublemaker, you fucking Lenny. You tell me where you, everything. Nobody even mentioned the pool in fucking months, and then you come back. I've been you dying to know if you've gotten months, it done. The guy you paid to put it in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he's probably the only person in that place without a violent felony in the in his new uh, housing area. Yes, like, you, Lenny. Everybody there is a felon, right? I mean, they're all. I try not to listen to anything that's going on, and I I block it all out. When is the last interaction slash conversation you've had with a roommate up there? Uh, the. The guy who's supposed to be taking care of stuff in the house mm-hmm. said, how are you doing? And I, I grunted at him, and that was about it. Oh, that's good. So well, they're I trying. Just home from and work. then you came on his back. <laughs> so so <laughs> you, one of your roommates is tasked with maintaining the apartment, and he asked you how you were doing, and you responded, Ugh. Yep. You showed them. <laughs> okay, why? Why did, why did you respond like that? Why does your wife want us to shoot her? Bob? Because of the poll that Lenny brought up. She just realized that it's not fucking done yet. You're, you're a fucking troublemaker. See what you're you a started, fucking troublemaker. Lenny? You're a fucking sauce I didn't maker. Start anything. <laughs> you sauce maker. <laughs> so, so why, didn't, why didn't you respond to him? Why didn't you say something? I don't want to have. I don't want to have an interactive conversation with people when I've just gotten off of work. Can you just say uh, if you look to your left, you see the Grand Canyon? Can you do that? <laughs> There's no canyons there. It's a wall, dude. No, come on. Just play along. Just go. If it's you really a wall. Left. Lenny, just it's go. Wall. Lenny, just go. If you look to your left, you could see the Grand Canyon. Go ahead. <laughs> dude, what? Dude. Hey. <laughs> what? 
I don't think, I don't from think happiness to concern. <laughs> I don't think our pilot's going to make it. <laughs> Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham. Did you know that's you? That's absurd. It is absurd. TJ, Lenny, are you high? Like, fight, fight. Jerry, Jerry. Bye-bye. Lenny is a hickey. Josh from what? Jersey is absolutely right. Lenny's a hickey. He, you have a hickey? No. Let me see your neck. Turn to your left. Oh, it's a birthmark. We've right. discussed Turn this a lot left. of times. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, that's a hickey. That's a fresh no, it's hickey. Not. It's a birthmark. On the stove? <laughs> <laughs> you must have really wanted that merit badge. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a birthmark. Shut the fuck up. I was feeling a little sad this week, but hearing Lenny's life cheers me right up. See, Lenny, you're helping people. You're helping people. Uh, that's that's marvelous. <laughs> Gina wants to know, they're vacuuming the liner for 72 hours. Does that sound right? No, 100%. Yeah, the most absurd thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Really, Lenny? Yeah, for you, please. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stone fucking sorcerer. 72 fucking hours. Are you kidding me? Oh, shut the fuck up, you cum drinker. <laughs> <laughs> and we should we should there's a lot of new, we have a lot of new members so we really yeah. should uh let them know about lenny a little bit well lenny, no oh, he's, we lenny, shouldn't he's, oh hold no on, no hold on uh, hold on, uh, hold on. We are not going out. down that hear road out. hear me out we're going you down always, that load you, no, you we're always, not. lenny you always get what? upset lenny you always get upset yeah. when i <laughs> you always get upset one second bob let me talk to him yeah, you <laughs> Just let me let me talk, Bob. Go ahead. Lenny. I like Lenny. No, Bob. <laughs> let me go and then all right. Uh, Lenny. Okay. You ready? No, I go. No, I'm going. Lenny. Lenny. You always Lenny. Get up. No, one second, Lenny. Bob. When I always bring up your your background, your origin story, you always get upset at me. So I will allow you to explain to the new listeners who okay. you are and how you got to this show. So <clears> go ahead, Lenny. It's all on you. Go ahead. And then Bob. Bob has something. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Talk stupid. <laughs> and you're on. At the time, I was looking for help finding a date, so to speak. Come on. <laughs> and then I wound up driving Shuli around to gigs. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and then you had me on the show. Sure. Uh, brief, concise, and to the point. I mean, you don't think you're leaving <laughs> out. You don't think you're leaving out anything. You know that's that's oh. kind of pertinent to. No. Nothing. Okay. Uh, just tuning in. That was Lenny's ninety-two story, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all forty seconds of it. Oh, I gotta say, your hair looks better, Lenny. You got it's much better, yeah. shorter in front. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it showed it, it, all over. It was cut. Okay. Did you cut it? Well, color it orange? Oh, oh, wow. Kind of Hello. Did you color it orange? That's what I did. Just for you so you'd have something to say. But Listen to me, Ronald orange. McDonald. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> that was some story, bro. Like, that was some Whitney. story. <laughs> so you were looking for a date. Now, I didn't even I didn't know this. That's how, that's how this started. Did, did I not say I was looking for a date, so to speak? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm well, okay. How come we I'm don't at... remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that's when he went to the nude beach to see those guys. That okay. was then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire Island? Yeah. Remember, Lenny? I swallow cum. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's why I was ever at fucking Fire Island. You, you were at Fire Island. Island. Yes. <laughs> It's it's a local beach. People go yeah, there all the time. The local gay beach. <laughs> no, only parts of it are. It depends mm. on which part you're at. Well, so you're on the cop staring at. part, so most yeah. likely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Did you? Up, I heard you went up to some guy laying there and you touched his helmet and said, "Tag, you're it." Is that That's true? True or false? Can you confirm or deny? Of course, I can deny that. It'd be ridiculous. So, for the record, you were not playing helmet tag. Mm. For Wait the record. Time. All right. We'll, we'll the tell the people why you were there. Lenny? I just, what, 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 it's a beach, dude. What, what, I, 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 what, what's, the, what's the mystery? Yeah. You beach, what do you, 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 you go to the beach for, Mike? 
What do you go well, to the beach for, Mike? I, but I, when I pick a beach, I'm like, well, maybe I shouldn't go to the gay beach. Maybe I should go to a. I didn't say it was at the gay beach. You didn't, right then how come you didn't pay for any drinks that day? I told you, there's two there's two sections to Fire Island. Right. How come one is the big family section, Look at them. one is the nude section, and then right. further hey. down is the gay section. So he, why, he why said is there's that two such a mystery? and then he clearly described three. Is anyone well, watching? Well, there's three. Guy? I'm sorry, well, Captain. I don't say why that is... <laughs> <laughs> Your it's story is falling apart. On That's the what you're trying to say. You go, you go, you go, you go to the beach and school. you go swimming. I made sand oh. castle. Can you say over to your right is Fire <laughs> Island? Can you do that real quick? <laughs> no, we're not uh, going uh, anywhere. Uh, oh, man, this is such a my. This is so, not what I needed after work today, guys. You said you were oh, like you, a bobblehead. Would you need there, a blowjob from a fella? <laughs> <laughs> no, dinner would be nice. <laughs> Dinner would be nice. I agree. Take your cock and, out, sir. Uh, relax, Bob. It was a joke. Yeah. It was a joke, Bob. Oh, so any, any fucking uh, headache. <laughs> what do you got a headache for? Maybe because it's you got that sissy thing on your fucking head. You ever think of that? You're like a little girl. Go swimming, Bob. Go, I fucking will come over there. So, Lenny, any uh, headway on the dating front? <laughs> no, there's been no headway. Stop I've been it, far Stop too busy. It. We know. Uh, listen, I understand you're busy. Don't, but no, 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 no. We're not having busy. this conversation. We just did. Yes. No. I'm. I'm more than busy. How are so you, you more than busy? Just I, giving up I, on, on ass at this point? I, I, they're just like, there's no geez, time you, for that shit. You work seven days a week. I'm working five days a week, and right. on the two days I have off, I have to run around and get stuff done that I can't get done during the week. You are. You are describing everybody's life. Yes, well, Lenny, two Lenny's, things you can't Lenny do Lenny never the had time for a wife, and he's talking with <laughs> Davey, who's still in the so, navy. And probably and, will be for life. And swallowing his own gravy. That's what yeah. Lenny did. But Lenny, He's really, that is that is everybody who's watching the this gravy. show. <laughs> everybody who's watching Just to this, get on that's a their show. life, man. They work five days a week, and then they have two days to do the stuff they want to do. Like getting pussy. I didn't say I wanted yeah. to do them. I said I have to. Well, yeah, but things they well things they have to do. Yeah, they have to go. Yeah, well, to, uh, doesn't leave me shopping. much time for myself, okay? But, uh, but everybody... Nothing. But literally, everybody is doing what you do, and yet most people have relationships. <laughs> and let's be honest, when you do have time for yourself, you still don't really do anything. Right. Oh, because I'm usually so exhausted from work. You're eight hours a day I'm, like I'm, everybody I'm, else does? Eight Frank. hours. If it was just eight hours, that'd be nice. Hello, Frank what time says, do you have to work today? Hold on, hold on. Frank, Frank says... Lenny's origin story is just like that of any other 60-year-old prep yeah. cook. So want to hear about Lenny's present. Okay. Yes, I like that. I like that, too. Did your birthday I, come? Are you 61? Or are you 60? No, he's 61. How old? Are you 61? Is he frozen? He froze. Lenny. 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 What are you doing? Lenny. What are you doing? Lenny. Don't do it. Don't Lenny. do it. Don't Lenny. Do you. Lenny. No. No. <laughs> Right. Well, it wouldn't be a miserable man episode if Lenny didn't storm <laughs> off and discuss. So uh, we still have Over the street. his age this time. It's always it's either his name or his age. It's yeah. two of the most ridiculous things ever. So I was just about to text Mike to drop a Leonard in there, but I didn't have <laughs> to. <laughs> didn't have uh, chance. Uh, listen, Mark, great to see you. Yeah. Uh, let's let's talk about. Sunday's doing this regularly, all right? Yeah. Uh, the people love that you're back. Come back full time. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk. Let's figure yeah. it out. And then, folks, after this, 7 o'clock tonight. Oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. Let's do a few uh, super chats before we, we leave. Don't sure. Forget. Uncle yeah. Rico, tonight, uh, Lenny loves his own sauce better than them all. I agree with that, Mr. Yeah. Poon. $2. <laughs> TJ the Insomniac, good evening, everyone. It's Lenny the limo driver. Yeah. What the hell shirt is Lenny wearing? I know it's a whole. It, I thought it was a leotard at first. I guess, yeah. <laughs> He's a leotard. How is it that nobody in chat has the screen name of Bob's Pool? Oh they please, because it's There's, non-existent. Bob's They're fake. All pool. over it. It's Bob's <laughs> fake pool. Bob, yeah, all that pool. You have no idea these fucking animals. Bob's fake pool is a legend in the game here. Yeah. Lenny, have you had to drink any of your own <laughs> DNA lately? Ah, oh, we forgot to ask him that. Mm. 
has let me, uh, what do you think dodo i mean come on <laughs> lanny coming to us from international space station how much is that why is money? he whispering is he not allowed to talk he, in his own apartment he's allowed to no no he's allowed to he just does not want to raise his voice let anybody else hear him talking he's fucked up he was he's in a halfway house and We're someone died sure. in there first week he moved in yeah it's they halfway to heaven dead. everyone that lives <laughs> there yeah. There's got to be a trail of dead roommates in his past, right? I mean, someone's got to <laughs> yes. connect these dots. It's just a trail of carnage and bad news. No matter where he goes, he's just surrounded. Lenny's probably the only person in that place without a violent felony. I agree. Yeah. But imagine you're living in there. You go, good morning. And, and the guy goes, <laughs> uh, just runs at you like a maniac. Yeah, he, like, he's five other people and he does not speak to anyone. That is uh, amazing. I was feeling a little sad this week, but hearing Lenny's life cheers me up, mm -hmm. cheers me right up, Frank. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have nothing to fear. <laughs> Rex Moe uh, wants the screen name of Jettison Mike Morris. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fight, fight, that. fight. That's right, TJ. No big secret. The entire Shuli Network and their dysfunctional fans are on the spectrum. Tism for life. Here, here. Oh, five bucks from Tiff. Mike's on the spectrum. No clue how to act socially. Agreed. I'm Agreed. A very social person. What is the story behind the Rosenberg sound drop? Oh, so that that was Bob doing a commercial, recording a commercial. Do I have the commercial? <laughs> what was it for? Al, Al Rosenberg. Rosenberg. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just yelling for some reason. Yes. Do you, Al Rosenberg. Yeah. Do you? He get no, that's not. <laughs> Hold on, Bob News thing. But that was a miserable men promo, right? And Bob just yes. Started. They told him to up the excitement, so he just started shouting everyone's name. Yeah. You know, Rich wants to know if you still have that uh, Westbrook uh, jersey, Bob. I might. All right. I'll look for it. Oh, here. I think this is it. With Mike Morse. You got the shirt? <laughs> Sorry, Morse. <laughs> With Mike Morse. It sounds like, it sounds Morse. like someone got him in a full Nelson. <laughs> All right. With Mike Morse. <laughs> ah, this. All right. <laughs> With Mike Morse. No. It's two syllables. The easy, literally the easiest name in the world. Only Cher has an easier name. Morse. There you go. Morse. <laughs> it's like you've known the guy your whole life, and he just right. goes, ah, fuck this. He goes, oh, he... <laughs> oh, wait. Did I start it over? All right. Morse. Oh, All right. Morse. With Mike Morse. <laughs> With Mike Morse. Al Rosenberg. Right, you got it? Say Mike Morse. Mike. Al Rosenberg. <laughs> Mike Morse, Al Rosen, <laughs> fuck you, Mike Morse, Al Rosenberg, no, like he's yelling fire, Mike Morse, Al Rosenberg, <laughs> huh. like, it really is like it's oh. Godzilla attacking because Al Rosenberg is <laughs> uh. Al Rosenberg. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, listen, uh, love to Al, his family. Yeah. Uh, we learned yeah. so much from that man, and yeah. uh, very, very sad news. But I'm I learned how to say I'm full. Yes, <laughs> and, and stop. You've told me that story before. <laughs> you learned that one too. XMM put cat shit in a in a baked good. Which was yeah, listen. Good. Our our friendship had its ups and downs, just like any other. All right. <laughs> XMMM two twelve says Bob sounds like he's selling Mike Morse at a ball game. He really does. <laughs> Get your Mike Morse right now, Al Rosenberg. Oh my God, Al Rosenberg. Uh, <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you. Love to Al. Uh, rest in peace, and yeah. uh, we'll see you tonight for Rico. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Oh, love you, buddy. Where are you going to be, Marky? See everyone yeah, what soon. You, you I'm playing anything? all week. I'm playing with my oldies band on Tuesday. Um, Reminisce is the band. Uh, Ten-piece oldies band. One of them concert in the park things in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Friday, I'm in Rockaway, New Jersey with my rock band. I, I know. I don't know. I'm playing a lot. Nice. Cool. Go see him. Go see him. Very good. Got I'm going to be at Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico's. God damn it. Uncle <laughs> Vinny's. <laughs> Uncle Rico. <Rico's>. Point Pleasant. <laughs> July twelfth and thirteenth, right on. We got we got to get you. Yeah, we got to get you screaming other names like that. Yeah, MLC yeah. on Not YouTube tomorrow at four. No more fucking drinking. That's the thing. <laughs>
All right. You know what? We've all had our edicts. Some of us stick to them. Some of us don't. We'll see you tonight at Uncle Rico. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hit subscribe. Hit like on your way out. And member up if you're not. All right. We're bye. ready to fucking make. So what happens is and, and, uh, Uncle Vinny's son, Wednesday, uh, you want a piece of the rev? It's not me.